Hello, this is Flights in Asia, and in this video, we'll be heading to South Korea where plans have been made for a future air hub for the southern city of Busan, with a planned opening date set to be before the end of the decade. The planned future air hub of the city of Busan will be located on Gadiok Island, also known as Gadiokdo. For the most part, it is a quiet island just south of Busan city center and the Busan Gimhae Airport, the current air hub of the city. While mostly a quiet island, it does have some historic and scenic attractions. And it's connected to the South Korean mainland via bridges. It's on this island where the South Korean government is proceeding with the project for the Gadiokdo New Airport. And the government is looking to invest in around 11 to 14 trillion Korean won for this project, which so far the details are still being finalized, though the government is looking for the opening of the airport in 2029. The vision of the South Korean and the Busan city government is for an airport out in the coastline, capable of operating 24 hours without any noise restrictions or limitations for expansion, which has been an issue for the Gimhae Airport. Capable of operating all day, one of the goals of the project is to be a global logistics hub with the primary focus on international flight operations. According to reports from South Korean local press, the Gadiokdo New Airport will cover an area of around 6.7 million square meters with a 3,500 meter runway, which would be capable of handling some of the biggest jets in the world. The initial passenger terminal building to be built will have a capacity of around 7 million passengers per year, and a cargo terminal of around 17,000 square meters will be built to support the goal of becoming a logistics hub. The airport will be designed to handle around 74 aircraft at a time. In addition to the facilities that have been mentioned, the airport will feature some new tech including anti-fog landing systems and systems to handle extreme weather and quote, once in a century tidal events. After the completion of the first phase, it's estimated the airport will handle around 23 million passengers and around 335,000 tons of cargo per year before a second runway would be built to increase the capacity to 58 million passengers annually. The Gadiokto New Airport project is expected to be an economic boost to Busan, which happens to be South Korea's second major city. It's expected to take over as the main air hub for the city of Busan, currently served by the Busan Gimhae Airport. Previously, there has been plans to expand the Gimhae Airport though those plans have since been shelved, as the airport is now handling around 14 to 20 million passengers annually. It's for that reason the South Korean Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport revealed plans for the new airport at Gadiokdo in 2021, which will put the new air hub away from the city on the coastline, similar to the Incheon Airport serving Seoul. The new airport is expected to avoid the limits of the expansion at Gimhae and would be open for flight operations 24-7, allowing for the flight network to be expanded from Busan, which does so far lack long-haul distance flights. While there has been an increase in regional flights over the last few years, long-haul travel from Busan requires transit at Incheon to destinations such as North America and Europe. With a new airport at Gadiokto, the Busan and the South Korean government is looking to increase flights and a network to and from Busan, along with having an airport serving the city of Busan which can be expanded. That's all for now. I definitely hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. This has been Flights in Asia, highlighting the news and updates the aviation and travel scene in the Asia Pacific. Thank you for watching and have a great day.